So, so this video just shows data. basic just usage of Neuracal software. You'll you see know, me talk a, through as I do a one. workload induction task, uh, apply so filters to it, do and do a, just a quick back. analysis of it before I do some uh, real-time so data visualization and uh, state induction on myself. For 20 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds, 30 second trials, two trials of each, and the rest for 10 seconds. So fire this up, and we'll begin. So now N is equal to And then there I'm now doing the, the visual one back, yes. and this is meant to elicit a state of low cognitive workload. Oh, it's going to organize all the data when I'm doing this into one group no, and label it that way. And then when I later do the two back, no, it'll label that data with two back data. No. So just a general organization here. Uh, no. You have commands, they go into the console, you have output coming from the console, so you see my reaction time and so on. And then in the top left corner, you see all the different uh, data sets, right? And then I apply commands. To it. So this really adaptive filter just makes so that you're only looking at brain activity, primarily. So then I reorganize it so it's conditioned by by the condition, and then you know most of the data here is just the junk data. It's nothing to do with the trial. So so I apply the keep command, and I want to look at the one back and the two back. So this is enabling me to just very quickly just induce a state and then just evaluate what it is the signal looks like. And I see the visualization in the top right corner, data on the left, commands to the bottom. And then this is our data here. So organize it a little nicer, so set the start at zero. And now and, and so I get a visualization for each channel of the data. Without any filtering. And the near the source detector pairing doesn't have any filtering because it's used so for the adaptive filter. So, uh, so this is what... And the two different conditions, one back, two back, have different colors. So then the, the one back, there's a decrease in oxygenation as I begin those two trials, and it's just two trials here. Uh, but in the t two back, there's a, uh, you know, in, in one trial, it's an increase, and in one's a mild decrease. It's, it's not maybe the most re representative because I mean, it's only two trials, and I was talking as I was doing it. But here's the right hemisphere, and in the right hemisphere, then, it's the opposite effect. So, so here the... Uh, for the visual two back, the oxygenation appears to be go up, but for this one it goes down. Uh, so yeah, I mean all kinds of things you do here. So then generally what you'll do, and there, there are probably too few instances here just to do this effectively, but you intersect these three with the choice of machine learning algorithm, a feature set, and a, a method of doing attribute selection. The default is none, and then you just train your algorithm. Uh, so here, th this is uh, kind of interesting here. So, so here, I'm sitting with a brain monitor with F near on my I'm head, show off the paper. and I'm. That you can do I have the visualization of how my oxygenation in my left prefrontal result. cortex it's is changing. It's all been adaptive filtered. Real so time, it's all been argument. adaptively filtered. Real time, so it's clean. The I'm F near data. This paper. And using nor so Neuracle, you can just sit there kind of with your eyes closed. I'm Maybe you can do just narrating whatever comes to test. mind you just stream and trying to introspect data. my state and manipulate and it and see what happens in response to what it, the data. So now you, you'll hear me talking out loud as you're doing this. And then you just look at the data you generate and compare the two.
so here you see now having having had my eyes closed for a while now I'm opening it up again it seems like I'm on a one-way path toward just it's just going down so now my eyes are opened up and though I'm remaining exactly still now all of a sudden there's a shift this is just the effect of me having deprived my brain of visual input for about five minutes and now it's getting all this visual input. It's a, it's a total state alteration. We should be thinking about things in terms of, you know, the simplest on-off states. And what is, what is not the simplest if not just open your eyes and close your eyes? It's hard to know what it is this signal is changing in response to. It's like, when, when does this decide, okay, well, now I'm going to do an upward trend. And when does it decide, now I'm going to do a downward trend. It's like, it's impossible to know. Uh, so, now it's clearly on an upward trend. I wonder now if I could close my eyes and it would return to a downward trend. Now taking deep breaths. Meditating, relaxing. I'm still totally stationary. Just trying to figure out what it is that's going on. What do I think is going up or down? I'm curious. But I'm probably going to lose back to here. Well, such a different state. It's like I'm giving the brain like it's like seventy percent less input, and so the instead I can do other processing, my prefrontal cortex, which is what I'm measuring. But indeed, it goes down. So now I opened up my eyes again just to see the direction it took, and let's see if just by opening eyes and again I'm totally stationary, but now my eyes are open what's going to happen indeed seems to be going up and it's just because this is such a like basic barometer of the state of my brain it's just are am I getting visual input again I'm filtering out all the noise and motion this is 100% to do with with some sort of facet of a state being different and it, it is an entirely different state, the state of your eyes open, your eyes closed. So, do we want this to go down again? Uh, yeah, let's close our eyes and see what happens. There is thinking, okay, for the rest of the video, I'll just show off the other things. And now let's open our eyes again, and we'll see if we go back up. It's like quite immediate in how quickly it goes back up. Hmm. Hmm. Just generating these audio logs while you're doing it. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, we'll zoom out.